Hi there, I'm Seb. Welcome to the Gamers Garden. And this is the first Gamers Garden channel update. Now, the reason I'm having my first channel update is that the collection, as you can see behind me, it finally has a home. I've moved around a lot over the last few years and it's always been difficult for me to settle into a rhythm with producing videos for this channel. But I think now things should start to be a bit more regular. So, channel news. First of all, I need to give a big shout out to Genovi, who a couple of months ago hit 10,000 subscribers, which is an amazing achievement. If you don't already watch his channel, please go and have a look because I love all of his videos. They're really, really well made and he does his research really well. When he hit 10,000 subscribers, he did a really great thing, which was give a shout out to some smaller channels. And mine was one of them, which I feel really lucky. And thank you, thank you very much, Sean. I appreciate it. Without posting anything on my channel, my subscribers nearly doubled because of that. And what's great is that that jump in subscribers has come at a time when I am a bit more settled now. Uh, my background is in video production. So I used to do commercial and corporate video production. And then I moved into teaching, teaching media production and film studies. The channel's supposed to be a way of meaning that I can use some of my creativity and I can make things when I don't do it in my day-to-day -day job. Of course, anyone who's a teacher knows that that is pretty full on. But now in my new job, I've got a lot more spare time. So I'm thinking I should be able to get into some kind of a rhythm now on the channel. There's some new ideas in the pipeline. I've got a couple of videos ready to go up on, online now uh, and a couple more in the pipeline. So I'll start to put them up at a bit more of a regular consistency. And also I've got some other ideas. My friend Kale, who you might have seen in the game and chat videos that we started doing before lockdown, we're actually gonna start doing a podcast together. So once that's up, I'll get the links up on YouTube. I'll point you guys to it and you can check that out as well. I don't have much of a schedule in mind, but I'm thinking if the podcast and or a video can go up once every three to four weeks, I'll be quite happy with that. As for an update on my collection, well, most of it's here now. As I've been moving around a bit, I couldn't have all my games with me. And now that I do, not only does it mean that I can enjoy them more, which is fantastic, but also it's easier to record stuff and write things and hopefully then share them with you guys. I had some cool additions recently. I've now finally got a proper big CRT screen so I can enjoy the, playing my games the way that I want to. I've got a great uh, RGB SCART switch off of Taxon Tool, which means I can plug a lot of my consoles in, not have to mess around with wires so much, but also I can send one signal out to a CRT TV, the way I want to play my games, and send another signal out to my upscaler and my capture card, which should be the best and most efficient way that I can record stuff. The other thing I've got recently, which I just can't stop playing at the minute, is I finally got my first piece of real arcade hardware, and I've got a Neo Geo MVS. I got the kit all together at once, I was looking at the things all separately, and I just managed to find a guy in London who was selling his setup, which was basically the things I wanted to get anyway. I've got the 161 in one cartridge, which is a great way to start off. Um, I will get some certain games as and when I kind of decide what I want to get. But I've got another friend who's very, very talented at woodwork. And the idea is that this Neo Geo MVS is going to end up in a custom bar top arcade cabinet. It's really exciting. And as any updates on that happen, I'll make sure I put some pictures up on my Instagram, at Gamers Garden Retro, and show some videos about it as it goes along. So that's it for the first update. I'm not gonna do these regularly, only as anything changes too much or I get any interesting new things in the collection. So, until the next time guys, happy gaming.